In this and next modules of the video tutorial we are going to create destination sets and routes for each destination set. A destination set represents the route list, or rate deck that your vendor, supplier or terminations provider offers to you. There are two fundamental parts of the destination set. The first is the route prefix, which is typically a country code and area code. The second is the monetary rate that your vendor will use to charge you for calls that you send to the respective prefix. The route's prefix is an identifier of the destination telephone number. For instance 380 is a prefix for destination Ukraine, 1212 is a prefix for destination New York, USA. The rate is composed from a set of parameters used in the, the system algorithm to calculate the route's price at which the vendor sells the access to a particular destination. There are additional parameters used by the system algorithm to configure the procedure of call termination. Please note that each route has its individual set of parameters specified in the particular route configuration. At the same time there is a set of parameters specified for the whole destination set. The parameters of the whole destination set are equally applied to all the routes in this particular destination set. To learn more about route parameters and pricing, go to the Call Pricing Principles tutorial. Let's add a new destination set for Green Telecom. Navigate to Destination Sets in your Customer menu. To add a new destination set click the Add New button. Enter the name of the new destination set. Again, you should use descriptive names, as this will make configuring other parts of the switch more intuitive later. Let's call it Green SIPI Test which insists that this is the destination set provided by Green Telecom for calling SIPI test numbers. Specify the number of free seconds of call that will be applied to all routes of this destination set. Free seconds is nested between your first interval, interval 1 and your first interval N. Select currency of your rate table. Set the percentage of post call surcharging if this is needed for your scenario. Post call surcharge can relate to taxes, inflated pricing or a method of IVR manipulation for calling card business. Specify the fee that will be charged for terminating each call within this destination set. Set the grace period. As you remember from the call pricing tutorial, if the call is interrupted within this period, no fee is charged for the call. We are done with basic settings for first destination set. Press save and close to save changes and return to previous page. You can create as many destination sets as needed using the same procedure. For the purpose of this training video, we will create couple more destination sets. Let's add one more destination set for Green Telecom. Let's assume that this destination set of the vendor Green Telecom is for calling to landlines of Canada, thus we can name it Green Canada. For the training purposes we can keep all other parameters for this destination as default. Press save and close to save this destination set and go back to the destination sets page. Now let's add one destination set for the routes we have purchased from Vega Telecom. All these routes are to call to some SIPI test numbers. Following our logic of naming let's call this destination set Vega SIPI test. Now we have created two destination sets of Green Telecom, one of which is to SIPI test destination and another is to Canada. Also we have created one destination set of our Vega Telecom vendor. The next step is to add routes to each destination set.